Now at five, Boeing's leaders saying let's make a deal to machinists more than a month after the workers hit the picket lines. Welcome to Coin6 News. I'm Lisa Balick. Our Ariel Salk joins us live from Boeing's campus in Gresham. Ariel, what's in that offer and what are the machinists out there saying? Lisa, most people that I'm speaking with are telling me that this is probably the best offer that they're going to get from Boeing, while others are saying no pension, no planes. The union representing striking machinists say they have negotiated a new contract proposal with Boeing that would provide bigger pay raises and bonuses. The agreement would raise pay 35% over four years and includes bonuses of $7,000 per worker and a bid to end a costly walkout that has crippled production of airplanes for more than a month. The International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers says that it plans to hold a ratification vote on Wednesday. You know, I fought really hard to get into Boeing, and this offer is just kind of one of those things that um, acknowledges our worth uh, to the company. So the groups that were out there this morning, they seem pretty positive about it. They're looking forward to getting back, back to work and making the quality airplanes that Boeing deserves and needs that we need to be able to make so we can get this company back off the ground. Over 30,000 union members started their strike last month after voting to reject a Boeing offer that was supported by the union leadership, even though it fell short of the union's goal of a 40% pay raise. The strike by workers in Washington State, Oregon, and California has halted production of Boeing 737s, leading to the new Boeing CEO announcing plans to lay off 17,000 employees. Now, union leadership tells me if a plan is and agreed on by Wednesday, machinists could be back at work by then by the end of next month or the end of next week. Sorry. Reporting live in Gresham, Ariel Salk, Coin 6 News.